No, that is the wrong answer. Again, you pathetic hopefuls can't possibly all be this stupid, can you? Watawa mamulira, king konjope shak. No bamulira ji. Johnny yun turung chi, we eat a dear. Pula una chinek. Bamulira slimo anga kumbis king. All right. Oh, of course, Shardan. Anything you command us. We would never oppose you. No, no, no. Oh, do you honestly believe that the Sith are in need of such sniveling cowards? Mercy is a weakness. If your leader shows weakness, it is your duty to kill him and show true authority, true power. That is why the Sith are strong. Tunipudu! Rana no prata dunk no sercha itchua penki! No, you don't understand, and you probably never will. You wouldn't survive five seconds in the academy. The other students would tear you apart. Bah! I can't be bothered with fools. Perhaps I should... Uh, hmm. You, Jedi! You're looking to get into the academy, are you not? Well, of course you are. Why else would you be here? Let me pose a question to you. These hopefuls will never survive in the academy. A lesson must be taught here, but I am at a loss as to what form it should take. Oh, this is rich. I wasn't talking to you. I'm thinking to spare them the effort of being killed and do it myself. Perhaps I shall turn their skin inside out. Or force lightning. Yes, it's a most impressive display. Or perhaps a bit of humiliation is in order. I could easily strip off their tunics and make them run through the colony. Or they could lose all control of their bodily functions. What do you think? I just can't seem to decide. We didn't do anything. Please, help us. Silence. It's not what they did so much as what they didn't do, which is prove themselves worthy. I'm exhausted from dealing with their mewlings, so please decide for me, will you? Let them go. And what could possibly convince me to do that? <laughs> now that has to be the funniest thing I've heard all day. Well, fine. Whoever you are, since you've proven such a good sport, the boys can run off. I'm sure your little lesson will give them something to chew on. How may I be of assistance to you? What is it you would like to... Well, I mentioned before that my parents had fled to Taris. Perhaps I can tell you about that. In the early days of the Mandalorian War, there had been fighting closer to the Outer Rim worlds. Cathar was there, yes. My people had a great reputation as warriors, and that appealed to the Mandalore version of honor. They sought to test themselves against us, I think. Test themselves by bombing our world. Slaughtering my people while they slept or while they ran. They swooped down from space, across the world, firing at anything that moved. They used ships in space to destroy all orbital facilities and bombard the surface. We did resist. And in spite of their violent attack, we did stave them off for quite a while. But in the end, we were doomed. We were not members of the Republic. Cathar was beyond the edge of the Republic, in the outer realm. And besides, they could not have known. Our interstellar communications were the first things the Mandalores hit. All other short-range communicators were jammed. We were on our own. We knew what was coming. We had fought the Mandalorians in the first war against Exar Kun and the Sith. We knew there would be no mercy for us. The most we could do was pack the few of our people who survived onto what few ships remained and send them off into space as fast as they could. Most did not make it. My parents carried me as a baby with them and were lucky enough to escape. They fled as far as they were able and eventually settled on Taris. They could stand running no further, I think. But Taris was a horrible choice. Dominated by humans, intolerant of other species, it made everyday life unnecessarily hard. 
My father... My father turned to stimulants. He spent much of his time in local bars and dives. But we are warriors. It runs through our blood. And when he was on stims, he... he... he became foolish. He let his warrior nature get the best of him. So he would get intoxicated, and he would fight. And finally, one day, he would die. Killed by a man who provoked him into a fight and killed him like an animal. I... I am sorry, I... I cannot talk about this any longer right now. What do you need? Talk about what? I'll understand if we can't look for him right now, but if we could... Nekaba Kuyami Jusku Chiwi Aita Kachuaba Hasancha Kakincha Most of the merchants head over to Zerka's headquarters if they Look here, my dear friends. We have some newcomers to the colony, led by a Jedi, no less. I don't believe I've seen any of them before, have you? I hate Jedi, and these fallen ones are worse. They always get into the academy, and they think they're better than the rest of us. Great. Just what we needed. Some punks to come steal our lunch credits. <laughs> Smart-mouthed newcomers, to boot. Looks pretty fresh to me, Lashow. That's what I thought. Well, stranger, I don't know whether you're aware of this or not, but here on Korriban, the Sith do as they please. And we are Sith. Quite literally, whether you live or die depends upon our whim. What do you think of that, hmm? Oh, neither do I. <laughs> I simply stated a fact. Do you know how many Sith there are in Dresde? What is this a raffle? How many guesses do we get? Do not provoke them, Karth. Enough to crush this fool! Let's do it, Lasho! Now, now, let's not be hasty. Perhaps our friend here could yet offer up some amusement. What do you say? Amuse us, make us laugh, and we might just consider allowing you to live. Go on. I've heard this one before. I think... Quiet! And then... Cute. Maybe you should try juggling next time. <laughs> That's the oldest joke in the book. Well, it certainly didn't amuse us. Did it? Try again. What? <laughs> I think someone just stood up to you, Lasho. Shut up, fool, unless you want to be next. Yeah? Anytime. Stop it. This is boring. Let's just go back to the Academy. Fine, we'll go. As for you, I'll find you later. Trust me on that. I can't wait to get back to the core systems. Greetings. You've heard of that awful business on Idium, yes? 
our corporate outpost there has been destroyed by the Wookiee savages. This could put back the use of Wookiee labor considerably. We may even have to abandon the planet completely. Ah, well, what can you do? Sorry, was there something you needed? We do some mining here and are responsible for local shipping and support of the Sith on Korriban. Our starport is mostly just freighters and such, but we do get many travelers that come here to learn from the Sith. This office is actually our administrative headquarters for this region. Rather inauspicious, isn't it? We offer good prices here to those traders that keep the colony supplied. If you're in need of anything, this is the place to come. You certainly can. Allow me to punch... Go about your business, please, citizen. I, I hear you arrived on that old smuggling ship, the Hawk, or... I've had two friends killed by the Sith already. I hear them Sith are doing some kind of digging up on the planet's surface. Uchiwi <laughs> Nikaba Dubaka! Patisa! Patisa! Kon Muli! Uchua Penki! Tong Ituama Ji! Human Ak in Ikatune! Chi Itakan! Tinku in Kuka! Kimba Nikchalora Kun! No problem. Didn't work. Well, this is a Sith colony. They're the law here. I'm here only to protect Zerkas. Ciao, 
Maso, Gino Moli, Topa na Otobo Casa, Pampa Ki Muli, Kiwa Eta Kaki, Kiyo Kaku, Uba Maska Drojo Maso, Kiska Dosoki, Kopa Bono Nakachu, Labora na Winky Snack Toma, Inku Inku Ka, Inba Nikcha Lora Kun, Kung Aba. Uba maska doana chichopa muska, kimba ni chalora gu... Topa na otobok... Chau baso, chino... Tong hitwa ma aki inko tu chau baso, chino... I'm trying to get into the Sith Academy. Around here they call us hopefuls. After the Sith conquer the galaxy, there aren't going to be any more Jedi, are there? I guess I'd rather join the winning side. I thought they were good, but I've been here for days now and I haven't drawn any attention at all. I suppose that might be good, I don't know. Some of the attention the Sith have shown to other hopefuls has been pretty... deadly. All right. Goodbye. If I've had two friends killed by the Sith already. It must be some kind of test. ジーヒューマンアクントンヒトワマアクンコトネオトンヒトワマジアクジスカドソキコパボノナカチュラボラナウィンキスマクトキワエアイタカンキチャナチュポニボコンモリラスインコインコカインバニチャロラゴン
Yes? What?
Is there something specific you wanted? And what if I am? That is the whole point. Personally, I think it's wonderful fun. Those fools actually think that if they stand there long enough, I'll let them become a Sith. Idiots. A Sith is not a bantha, all endurance and no brains. A Sith would fight for his life, no matter the odds. If these rot grubs are as stupid as they seem, then they deserve their fate. Oh, it's a test, all right. It's a test to see if they're actually fool enough to die. If they don't, however, I certainly wouldn't admit them just for that accomplishment. You should not toy with people's lives. Oh, what a sweet guy. He should get the Sith Congeniality Medal. Hmm. It is a bit boring standing out here all day, however. I think I'll go for some dinner. It will be fun to think of them while I gorge myself. They'll still be here in an hour or two, surely. I suggest you run along before I decide to make you part of the fun. What do you need? Talk about, I'll understand. You talk to Meckel? Have I... No, there can't be! You're wrong! Leave, leave me be. I won't listen to your... Somehow I think he'll get over it. Leave, leave me be. Just, just a 